Hello everyone and welcome to the Curious Expedition. Uh, in this game, for those of you who are new to this game and have just seen, found this on my channel, the Curious Expedition is really, really, really fun. I I'm pointing this out there. It might not be the best in terms of graphics, and, but gameplay-wise, I personally, it's one of, it's a really, really solid game. I would say. The whole entire purpose is it takes place during the 1900s and you're out on an expedition, you pretty much go on expeditions and you have to, you want to be become famous. I don't personally, this is the first time I've played this game, I only ever watch other YouTubers play it. Um, this is going to be my first through walkthroughs, or like my first few playthroughs, but out of what I saw and out of um, what I experienced, uh, not just saw, like heard and all that, the music in the game is great. Uh, it's very well done, and I'll go into it more when I like stop, stop, uh, when I while I continue to play it. Uh, for right now, I already did the tutorial a little bit on the side, so we're gonna start a new game. So here you get to choose one of seven characters. You get more uh, as you go on, but each of these characters have their own perks. So if you choose Charles Darwin, you end up with a soldier, a translator. A donkey, which lets you carry more. Like animals, pretty much make, make let you carry more things. Um, translators are so you could talk and barter with villages to get better, not uh, be better bartering. Um, and the soldier, he comes with, um, he helps you fight pretty much. And you also get, uh, you also get a, a perk. Uh, Darwin gets butterfly enthusiast. I'm just gonna lower this a little bit. Um, he gets, he has butterfly enthusiasts, he gains sanity each time a butterfly is collected. That's more for um, fame later on. But right now I want to focus more on surviving all the expeditions, because again, I'm not that experienced in the game. I only ever saw people play it, and I really liked what I saw, so I'm playing it right now. Uh, this series, by the way, will be on every Thursday. I was originally going to do Roller Coaster Tycoon every Thursday, but I, w I couldn't get it to work. I tried for I tried for seven hours and it was not working and it was just frustrating because it wasn't doing full screen and I played through multiple multiple scenarios and it just didn't work. So we're gonna be doing Curious Exposition every Thursday. Fallout will be will most likely be going up tomorrow, though I'm not gonna guarantee it because of the fact that I have a lot of work and because of how today was with World Coast Tycoon, I don't think I'll be able to get the Fallout today. Um, regardless, Fallout will be out Saturday or Sunday. Um, th there will be a showdown, most Pokemon showdown, most likely on Sunday. Tuesdays will be co-op with uh, any sort of people I'm doing with. Uh, there's going to be more of the Smite guides. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to really, really be doing anymore. I'm going to do Smite gameplay instead because uh, ever since the game updated, they have got rid of a lot of items and like guides will become irrelevant at, over time. So regardless, we're going to continue onwards talking about this game. So this Darwin, uh, each of them get a perf. He has also a shotgun, so it helps you. Uh, how you attack in this game, how you fight in this game, is through dice. Shotgun gives you uh, like an increased dice. Uh, machete, they help you through jungles. I'll go over each of those in separate, but I'm not going to go with Charles Darwin. Uh, Ma Marie Curie, she's actually a really good one. Um, she has a mission. This is more for peacefulness. Um, she has a missionary, uh, gives you increased sanity points. Sanity points is pretty much, um, what makes you keep going in the game. Once you lose sanity points, you have a chance to just instantly die. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, you also get a hunting dog and a donkey. Um, get first aid kits, extra bullets, climbing gear, torches, and chocolate rations that help give you sanity. Then you have Richard Francis Booten. He allows you to rest at a village route using standing course. Uh, this one is okay. Um, Native Scout is pretty good. Uh, he, he, he pretty much gets um, better regent discoveries. Uh, British Soldier, um, he's um, he's a soldier. Just like with Charles Darwin, it helps you with gun. He pretty much is supposed to be there for the fight. Um, you get spears. Uh, you get combat dice, but he, does, she doesn't, he doesn't have a gun or extra bullets like the other two do. Uh, John Han Huizinga, uh, he also is a translator, he has an artist, um, artist helps you with fame, and, uh, empty canvases used for the artist, and he also has a pistol, and shovels and all that. 
And he also has a donkey also. I think all well, no, he does this guy does not have a donkey. As you can see, you need to do these to unlock them. Oh no no no, I did not want that. Sorry. Uh I'm going to save and exit real quick. New game. Okay, sorry. Uh Ryan Hutzman. Uh he specifically if you're going into Arctic areas. Um, so he has snowshoes which help him with snowy areas, he has a shotgun, climbing gear, chocolate rations, and a ticket. Uh, it's used for trading at polar stations, he's specifically for, uh, he's, he's specifically for, like, dealing with the snowy ones, which is actually difficult, for difficult levels. Um, and he also gets a native animal hunter, so, like, it helps him, like, uh, train animals and that, and he also has huskies. And the last one is Hunger Leung. Uh, he gets healing. Uh, pretty much, he, uh, him, uh, he, him and his party get healed while moving and all that. Um, they get he gets a water buffalo, which increases carrying, and he comes with a cook who can make meals out of unusual ingredients. It's actually really beneficial. There's also the random explorer you can go with. He also comes with chocolate rations, rope, first aid, and torch. Uh, for the most part, I debate in this case. Um, I personally like either. I personally like Hun Fleung for like a starting expedition. So hello, my good sir. Yes, we all want that statue. Here are your rivals for the sixth expedition. Harriet Tubman. <laughs> That's funny. So you get to choose torture, which is like basic. I'm not going to go basic, I'm at least going to have the standard difficulty mode, uh, and certain that this is specifically for people who know, uh, to like advanced players. I'm going to do Expedition. So how it starts off is it chooses two places you can go. Um, how it normally works is anything like in yellow, normally deserts and that are probably really, uh, are normally really bad when it comes to doing Expedition. Uh, this jungle is normally better than desert. On drylands, and then same with our uh, Arctic. Like it's normally how it goes is wood, uh, the woodland jungle. Then it goes in the drylands, and it goes into the Arctic. That's how it decides like how it works. See the endless drylands. Uh, you actually get to see where they're all working. The lunatic jungle. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, everyone went white. Uh, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna go here. So. After good night's rest, I arrived at the harbor. There were still some arrangements to be made, so I spent my time on deck enjoying the cool breeze. A witch foreigner named Sir Dalag Lajima arrived at the docks. He told me that he used to live in the area of an upcoming expedition before joining an expedition to come to London. He had achieved the respect of city folk and requested that I find his wife in his former village and accompany her to London. So how this game works is it's um, a text adventure, pretty much. Well, sort of. It's a mix. And at the start of each expedition, you normally get a quest. In this case, I can accept going to find a village and then bring her wife back. So when I'm out doing the expedition, I have to find the village to do the quest. I'm personally going to do it because of the fact this is the first expedition, so it's a lot easier. It's less area. Uh, I accept it, and to, uh, I accept his request to find and return his wife. He nodded thankfully and wished us luck. So, the game starts off, you arrive on, normally, uh, an island. yeah, normally you start off on the very corner. So, how it works, starting things off. Oh, okay. I was finishing up my morning ablutions as we arrived in the uh, expedition area. I was curious to discover what adventures we were waiting for us. Uh, we fill water, begin expedition. Access, let's see, access ship storage. Uh, okay, close. Refill water. Uh, no, water is normally really good. Um, other than that, we're good to go. Uh, you can keep refilling water, I believe. Okay, yeah, you can't, you don't want to overdo water. Left click when diary is closed. Right click to move. Okay. Begin expedition. 
Langley the Welland uh, indicated that location of the former village on the map. Oh, so we get to see where the village is. The village is right there. That's great. Okay, so how the game works before moving or anything like that. So notice how wherever I go, it costs cent. It costs. It shows points. Okay, like nine here. Oh, no matter what, seven or six depends on where you go through. And it costs sanity to move. How it works is um, this up here is your sanity bar. Um, the mental state of your trek members. Don't let this drop to zero or more catastrophic events can occur and you will probably end up dead. So at the start, um, you normally want to move uh, in like a large treks because notice how in the start, me moving one square would be seven sanity, but um, moving actually it's kind of uh, moving here to seven sanity and then moving here to eight sanity like this is only one sanity course but me this is still moving one spot and this would be seven because of the fact I'm starting from I'm moving from stopping from I'm moving from a place I'm stopping at because right now I'm stop I'm at the boat right now uh, as you notice here seven to nine this is light jungle so it costs to it costs more days to travel not even more tra it costs more of a travel course to go through the jungle if I had a machete then I wouldn't have to worry about it uh, through the thick jungle, machete will instantly clear that, but it will use your machete. Uh, ropes are for climbing. Uh, it's the same thing like as I said earlier. Uh, uh, at, um, with machetes working for uh, this here, rope will be used for mountains in particular certain ones, but it's mainly used to, uh, for hills. And it's also used in terms of like when you go come across a specific spot, uh, you might end up with a crest while going on your expedition, and you might need rope. Same with torches, etc. So anyway, we'll continue moving on. I have the cook, uh, who uh, I have the uh, martial, the guy who tagged along, who wants to go see his wife, who is apparently a martial, martial, a martial arts master, which is very useful. And I have a buffalo, which increases my carrier capacity. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to head to the village and see this guy's wife. Okay. So this talks about that. Okay. Uh, we'll enter the village. We arrive at the main area. We encounter the tribe that were a clan of powerful warriors and protectors of the, the region. As I absorbed the tribe, I noticed one woman was somewhat out of place. She was the wife. I had been tasked to escort back to London. Without further ado, she happily joined our trek and began to show us around the village. We're guided into the village by a crowd of cheering kids. Our good representation have preceded us. So standing. Um, what it is, is you get reputation with the building. It's reputation in general of the region. And it's your standing cost. If the more negative things you do, like if you steal an artifact that belong to the... If you steal an artifact that belong to the region, like they'll be pretty pissed off. And they might not let you stay in the village. They might even attack you. And it also affects your barring and all of that. Uh, you need to gain sanity back. There's m multiple ways to do it. Uh, eating chocolate, uh, drinking alcohol, or resting in villages are ways to regain your sanity. Some have negative consequences, such as drinking alcohol. Uh, if you have a low standing, you can't rest in a the village. They won't let you rest there. And in that case, you can get screwed over with sanity pretty fast. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to trade first. See what they have. My boot can only be used once. As it has, uh, this pretty much screws over other expeditions. That's pretty much what you do with this. Uh, wall meat uh, cannot be unless cooked. I do have a cook, so that can be very useful. Uh, right here is the bartering. This is how much, like, you want to make this to have the good trade here. Uh, let's see what else they have. Rope, uh, everyday adventure, torches, I have that. They spoil quickly. Red mushroom, healing abilities, uh, jewels, valuable jewels can be traded later for fame and what I have water already uh, I'm gonna trade three rope for that piece of meat okay green with raider um, recruit a few more that uh, I don't I wouldn't mind having a warrior on my team I'm gonna need it uh, he actually has some good traits too. Uh, he has good reputation. Start each position with a standing bonus. That's really good. We use his chance of triggering combat. That's really good. Uh, this guy has a negative trait. Red's negative, blue is good. 
So there's a rational fear of what is unknown and mysterious. We don't want that. For all packed animals, that's good. What about you? And, okay. I like the warrior for right now. Especially on my team. Uh, I'm going to rest in the village. Told me that he knew a location far from a minute payment. Uh, sure, I'll, p I'll pay for the information. Uh, I'll get whatever some rope, a uh, chocolate bar, and a torch. Uh, maybe I can take a rope back. Okay. Straight how he warned us occasionally appear of deadly beasts that protect the area. He marked it for. Um, on our map for our next station. Sleep, we get 20 uh, sanity, but we lose two standing, and one day we've been here. Uh, I'm going to leave now. Okay. Uh, they give us a shrine to find, too. That's really good. Uh, let's see here. Sexist uh, against people. Oh, come on, man. Why are you sexist? Dude, I don't like you, man. Shaman will hesitate to follow you home after this expedition. Trigger compact. Okay. Uh, cook. I can promote her. I can't promote it yet? Nope. Okay. How it works is they get experience points, and once they get enough, it's like this guy here. Uh, once level up, she can gain the perk. Uh, normally, you get level up at the end, or normally you do it for like finding areas. So we're right here. We ha we I can bring her back uh, like to the boat, uh, though it's not that big of a deal. I think I'm most likely going to go over to this shrine here that I know of. Uh, unfortunately, since I don't have vision, I have to go here. Okay. Uh, because of my passive, the runes get treated. That's a giant tree. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, we'll go to the shrine here. You have to be—you just have to be adjacent to it. You, uh, like as you saw at the village, you just have to be adjacent. You don't have to actually. What's the correct word? You don't have to actually go directly at it. Examine the shrine. So before a compromise of a huge shrine, all matters of plant-like group towards it. I could swear I hear a sound of washing water under our feet. So shrines. How the shrines work is normally a lot of the time they're booby-trapped. Uh, in this case, it says washing water under the feet. That's most likely when if I come in and take something, uh, water is going to pop up from the ground and like swallow it whole. Uh, let's see. Altar in this way. We knew we could investigate the altar. Uh, I might as well take it. Uh, this is most likely gonna flood. It was awesome. We grab the treasure and hurry. Enormous water bursts from the ground and begin the flood. Travel. Let's get out of here as the water burst. Uh, let's see what's over here. Uh, a cave. Let's explore it. We approach a cave. The rocky moor seemed uh, de 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 we require a torch to move inside. So if you don't have a torch, you would have to use a perception die. Uh, we'll light a torch. We found a small cavern with the aftermath of what seemed like a failed. A few mortal remain were long line. All the bones we found have been cracked and opened. Let's investigate. Spies still had some valuable loot. Some chocolate rations, that's great. Some climbing gear. And what's this? You know, you can read it. Ah, okay. That's what, I, if I read it, Uh, 
Oh, okay, this causes a chasm to appear, I think. Ah, okay, I see why you would want to know that. Um, this... I'm gonna eat. Uh, this would be butterflies. Oh, I can promote. Now she actually quits food better. Uh, normally, you normally want to promote cooks and yourself. Uh, we lost a shaman. He became a demonic mason. Uh, I'm going to abandon the abomination, especially because he's sexist. Uh, he can be a real problem. Uh, oh, actually, he's not gonna. They're not gonna abandon it. Uh, eat the hunger strikes. Uh, patch one's ruined. Are oh, you home after that? I'm not gonna level him up. Uh, we're gonna move forward. Uh, we are trying to find the hidden temple. As by the way. Uh. That is bad. That looks like it's a very bad insect. The came up with this man made granite statue. The grotesque face seemed to stare at us. It was a disconcerting sight, and I, desi I desired to move on. I saw a few of them, which must have been put there by the name. Let's examine it. Mm. No, I don't want any of that. Uh, the compass, by the way, points us to the Golden Temple. However, in later levels, we have to be very careful because um, there are going to be like mountains that like are magnetic that will point the compass to it. Even though, um, what's it called? A dragonfly? That's not bad. Oh, apparently I do have a butterfly net. Uh, there's the Golden Pyramid. 40% chance to go insane. I'm gonna eat a chocolate, that way I can just go right there. Explore. That's the pyramid. Convince him. Up, unfortunately I couldn't convince him. This is history. And that's our first expedition. Oh, I was first. But that, that's pretty much how it works. The game is a point-and-click adventure. Uh, this is the first expedition. Um, this will be the first episode. Most I'll see how uh, much there might be. Since this was quick, we might do a second expedition. But normally it'll be like one expedition per video. I wish I was you. Triumph. And here you get to choose a perk. Increase the compass accuracy. That's not going to be useful later. Receive an additional attack die. That can be useful. So I like the additional support guy for my guy. Uh, the, the comp, no, comp, compass not going to be useful later. I like the additional support. And this is how all the other people went. Got. Okay. And now you get to choose whether to keep it or sell it. Uh, gift for fame. Gift. And sell. Okay. And now the second expedition. So we can go to this ice region. We can go to this desert region. Or we can go to this forest region. Uh, I already showed an example of the forest, so we're gonna go probably to the desert now. Desert's a bit harder. Early that morning, I stored my equipment on the ship. The captain had yet to arrive, so I sat in the pier waiting. Uh, we turned to the harbor eagerly. I loathed being the bear, but there was little I could do. As I explained to him, we were unable to turn with his wife. He nodded solemnly and left. That's because of the fact that, um, the wife... I stole the abomination with me? 
Okay. I thought I got rid of him. He had heard about the trek and told me a story about a ravenous hyena called Snarlfat. He despised the creature with all his heart and desire that killed. A handsome. So we, he wants us to kill a creature. I might as well accept. Uh, I so I can either accept a cultist or a missionary. Let's see, what is the sexist? So I already don't like him. To to rest for free in missions. That can actually be very useful. Strong mind plus ten sanity. Or we have the cultist increase the gain sanity when consuming cocoa leaves. And he's an alcoholic. Uh, I'll do the brother, even though I don't like the fact that he's sexist. Uh, we'll purchase equipment, see what they got. Don't need this yet. I'm gonna want some machetes. I'm gonna have five machetes. Have some rope. Dynamite could be useful. I want two dynamite. Uh, some chocolate rations can be useful. Can we use a Jordan? Oh. Uh. Get a shovel. And I'll get a. I don't have a painter, so I'll get that deal. Uh, animal improvement. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, let's set sail. And to our next expedition. My story is about this area. We reached land from the land. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. Uh, access the ship shore, refill the water. I like what we have right now, so we'll begin. Okay, so we have 110 sanity thanks to um, the missionary. Mountain face sculpture. Probably gonna go here. It says the pyramids down here somewhere. But we don't have any sort of access. Let's go over here. Oh, a village. Okay, that's good to know where the village is. Uh, I'm not going to go in the village right away because um, there's no real point at the moment because I don't really need anything. And when I'll come back to gain sanity, I'm going to look up here first and explore up here. Uh, this, you, this is not for the hy hyena. Uh, we can go fight it, actually. Okay. Oh, it gets a surprise attack. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Okay, so how, th how fighting works is each of your things, um, you pretty much get a chance, um, each of your guys have um, hit dice, so Abomination has two uh, attack rolls, uh, Buffalo can't really attack, well Buffalo would be with you, but you I actually got knocked out at the moment, uh, the cook can't really do anything, uh, she does have a few things. And the priestess has its own the die too. I'm also gonna put this in here and a wall. So we have dynamite explosion. Do that. Tentacle whip, claws, and then we'll set up. We'll defend, and that will be end of all round. Wow. See what this, and we died. That's unfortunate. So yeah, this will be one video then because of the fact that we got destroyed. Um, my got we got a surprise attack because of the fact that I was trying to cancel out of it and it didn't do that. 
Uh, back to main menu. I can can, wait, can I continue off it? Oh, cool! It lets me do it. Okay, that's actually good then. Never mind. Uh, we'll go right here. That way, it doesn't get a surprise attack on me. I heard news now. I heard to find out what happened and discovered Janko crowd trying to defend him against the abomination. Uh, protect. The abomination was attacking us. Oh wow, that's cool. And that's the end of my round. So he's stunned right now, so he gets one less die. I'll do this to finish it off. Get some more meat. Heal all of them. Okay, unfortunately, we couldn't find anything. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Uh, the moment we go into this, we're gonna get attacked. Ice explosion. Nice. Uh, animal toots. The pelt we need. We'll meat. And cook. There we go. Perfect. Might as well cook this and eat it. person's a really bad cook. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go over here and west of the village. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Enter the village. Any sort of medical. What I don't need. I'm having a spear. Toots are use Ooh, they very fine toots very valuable. I'll gladly take that. One of those. I want the height um pelt. I do need the pe that pelt. Um I'm gonna have some water. Oh no, they don't care for water. 
Uh, what else can I take? Take the mushroom. Yeah, that's good. West in the village. Offer. He told us a new location that would be worth. Uh, no, thank you. And let's just sleep. We wanted a compensation for it. Can I have your gems back? So take your mushroom back and take three ropes. Deal? Nah. Sleep? Okay, now it's time to go. Like someone or something out there for being followed. That's not good. <laughs> I spontaneously ceremony I presented a trinket to her. Subsequently, I had a short speech about loyalty and friendship. As I recounted one of her great contributions to our venture, she smiled with joy and bore the griff proudly. Well, let's see. I'll eat that. Might as well. Uh, might as well check. Nope. One item slot. Uh... I want to How do I get whatever an item? Oh yeah, there we go. Discard. Uh, I'll discard the torch. And we'll continue moving. But we're feeling followed. Uh, of course, the cave. Uh, we have six chances. Nope. That is not good. And we have another abomination, damn. Something over here. Uh, stone circle. Uh, reveal sediments, reveal camp points, we have to choose. We'll do reveal wounds. group of native warriors appears confronted. They must have been following me since I left the village. The leader was clearly angry about my actions. The man I played. Deny. Yay, I got one. So, place them, and they left me alone. Okay, so there's one right there. And there's a shrine over there. Uh, I actually want to fight because I want this abomination gone, to be honest. So we'll go there. Attack the panther. There we go. Strong boss. End round. Good, the abomination's bleeding. Perfect. 
part of the room doing anything useful. Hand the palace. Take all. I uh, will cook this and then eat it. Uh, I this plus five sanity. There you go, more viewing distance. Uh, I want to see what's over here. I do want that though. We'll go there. Examine the shrine. Either be a bold testament of power to his creator, low hanging vines from the ceiling. The building was cold to the touch, so it's gonna most likely change this area to snow. Uh, just a golden owl mask. Sure, might as well. What should we get rid of here? Panther pelt. Honestly, not that useful. Panther pelt. Okay. Gonna examine this over here. New region discovered. What the hell is that? Explore the springs. Now you have springs. Rest overnight. Accept the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can just keep resting. Hmm? What's going on now? Uh, we can continue resting, but we're good. Go this way. I want to use one. I think we're going to be chased. Great. Bleeding again. Let's see, anything else? Tactical advantage. Shadowless kick. Get the ball around. The abomination will die, but hopefully, yes, it misses. Why is. Oh, the bleeding. I'm gonna wall though. Loot, some meat, clothes. Oh yeah, we lost some weight because of the fact we lost the item. Oh, don't dismount.
Continue traveling. Unfortunately, she's... Oh, she's no longer wounded, thank goodness. Uh, we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go to this. Golden Temple's down here, it looks like. It looks like it's over here. Use a rope, use climbing here, climb without safety, no fitting dice. Uh, gonna use climbing gear. And the shrine. Investigate. A golden llama, and a golden skull. Gonna leave jewels. And some animal teeth. Clothes. Oh shit, the volcano. That's really bad. This is the Golden Temple, I believe. Golden Pyramid, nice. Phew! Explore. Survive, enter the Pyramid. Glorious, continue. I got first again for speed bonus, that's surprising. And I kept the pelt. You inspire me. I'm overwhelmed. Me and my cook for life. Well, I don't have a gun, so... I uh, will do waterproof. Less movement costs, the better. Uh, keep that for him. Uh, gift. Sell. And sell. Continue. Next expedition, we have an ice area. That looks difficult. Uh, the Cursed Desert. That does not sound nice. And the Guahahi Desert. Uh... I'm gonna show the desert. And then the next one, next time I get ice, I'll go there. Okay. I'll hand over the pelt. Obtain the water. Gave me $80. I obtained you one. A military chap approached me and spoke of the deserter who had abandoned his I would greatly be wondering if I returned to the traitor. Sure. Oh, I can get a new guy. Let's see, what is his perk? Reveals nearby o oasis. That can be very really useful since I'm going to the desert. And a soldier. Here's about being closed until night. Gain sanity from fighting. Uh, I would like another weapon guy, but I think I'm gonna go with him. Uh, animal improvement. 50 funds to. For one capacity? No, thank you. Purchase equipment. Click scientific data. Hunting rifle can be very useful. Food cans. Uh, I'm gonna get some first aid kits. Got four. Uh, some machetes. Some torches. Some shovels. Some bullets. The gun. Okay, maybe not the gun. Oh, we'll get with a machete. Well, machetes are very useful. We'll get with a health pack. And a bullet. A shovel. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Deal. Okay, we have an extra slot. 